uh, the document being submitted uh, for the nomination of Draupadi uh, Murmu and uh, she's as we said it's a big show of support for her you have all the top leaders the prime minister himself uh, is uh, going to be the first proposer and all top leaders of the BJP the union ministers chief ministers MLAs uh, even uh, leaders from the BJD are present uh, for the filing of the nomination of Draupadi Murmu and uh, she will be the first uh, a uh, tribal uh, woman president of the country the numbers are stacked very favorably uh, for her right now though the opposition has a uh, nominated nominated yashwant sinha however uh, dropadi murmu is expected to have the numbers with the, you know other parties also uh, supporting her candidature a, a deaf political move also by uh, the bjp in announcing her name uh, she is as we said a, a tribal woman leader someone very closely associated with education uh, or someone who's been the governor of jharkhand she was uh, she had completed her term as the governor of jharkhand she was in that position for 5 years and now she will occupy the top constitutional post when elected so there you can see a big show of support as we said numbers heavily favoring her uh, given that uh, the bjd support is also uh, there for her and and that was announced soon after her nomination as she's a tribal leader from odisha also yasa congress aidmk and a few other parties are expected to make uh, their uh, support known uh, in a short while now uh, dropadi murmu's name was announced after the opposition had announced yashwant sinha's name as the joint candidate from the opposition and the elections will take place on the 18th of july after her uh, candidature filing just now she will be traveling across the country uh, to uh, to meet with uh, the and you know reaching out to members of the electoral uh, college uh, and uh, made up of you know various mps and mlas and seeking their support it's expected that even others even in the jmm uh, will be supporting her given uh, that you know the symbolism of having a tribal lady as the president and that is something that is going to appeal to many across party line so it is being seen as a real a master stroke uh, if you will uh, by the bjp if we talk about uh, uh, dropadi uh, murmu she is uh, as we said a, a tribal leader she is a santhal uh, from odisha and uh, she is somebody who uh, earlier was a teacher as well she was a teacher in a, a government uh, job uh, she was te- teaching at a, a, in a rairang pur in odisha and uh, she was uh, she went on to become a, an assistant in the state irrigation department but then uh, she joined public life uh, she uh, became a councillor and she won that election and then she went on to move in uh, the, the in public life she she was a vice president of the bjp scheduled tribes wing and uh, was elected to the odisha assembly as as well and went on to become a minister there so she's had quite a, a varied uh, public life let's go back to arvind for more and arvind we can see uh, papers are being signed and checked and you know everybody is waiting a uh, very somber mood right now but uh, the prime minister sitting next to draupadi murmu along with you know the bjp president all other uh, ministers and behind them uh, flanked by the bjp chief ministers as well Yeah, uh, Gargi uh, Draupadi Murmu, the India's uh, candidate for the presidential election, has filed her nomination. Fifty uh, 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 legislators, including Prime Minister, proposed her name, and then fifty other uh, legislators seconded her name because that's the procedure, that's the mandatory requirement that at least fifty uh, electors or the legislators in this case should propose her name, and then fifty should second her name. So, as per that, uh, Prime Minister will, uh, is the first. a person to propose a name as a as, as a presidential candidate for the upcoming election so our president our prime minister narendra modi has signed as the first proposer and also our home minister amit shah and also uh, rajnath singh the defense minister have also signed as proposers and also uh, the alliance partners have also proposed a name and some of the alliance partners have also seconded a name so the nomination process is over and then now she will go across the country seeking support for the upcoming presidential election that will start with delhi so after the nomination process she will meet all the alliance partners in delhi and then she will go across the country seeking support from several parties for the upcoming election so almost 4400 mlas across the country will vote along with uh, 543 lok sabha mps and almost 245 odd uh, rajya sabha mps 
So in total, it's a huge electoral college. The elections will happen across the country simultaneously. MPs will vote here in the parliament and also the MLAs will be voting in their respective assembly. assembly. So it's a huge electoral college and both the presidential uh, nominees, both at Draupadi Bomo from NDA and also Yasmin Sinha from the opposition, both of them will go across the country to give their support. But numbers are clearly in favor of Draupadi Murmu, wherein she has almost over 6 lakhs of the electoral college support. So it's clear that Draupadi Murmu will be the next president, also the first woman tribal leader to become the president of India. It's also being hailed as a very deaf political move by the BJP, you know, to really uh, get the support among the tribals also. This is being welcomed by uh, so many, even across political lines, as we, say, as we uh, said, the BJD, of course, the first to support this, given she's from Odisha. Uh, but even, uh, you know, the JMM, uh, Jharkhand Mukti Morja, are going to find it difficult to, uh, you know, uh, as in, they will also be expected to uh, support this, given she was governor there, and uh, this will, and she's a santhal, somebody, uh, you know, and and the, that community is across several states in the country. Yeah, Gargi, the JM, uh, JM of Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, the party that should be watched for in this presidential elections, because. Uh, being the first tribal woman leader to become the president of India, it's a huge recognition and this is something, a huge uh, 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 development that we are seeing in the Indian politics. In such a scenario, it will be very, uh, very difficult for JMM, Jark, Mukti Mocha party that was, that, that represents the uh, tribal uh, community in total when it comes to uh, Jharkhand. It will be very difficult for the party not to support the candidature of Draupadi Murmu. So that's a, a political development we have to wait on watch for. Again, it's a deaf political move by, by BJP because uh, they will be, uh, she will be the first woman uh, tribal leader to become the president and also this will help the party in the upcoming election. Let it be. Gujarat also has a good amount, a good percent of uh, tribal votes. So that also takes in mind, that was also kept in mind by the BJP when they chose this uh, candidate. So it's a, a, a smart political move ahead of the crucial assembly election. Let it be. Yes. No, it's not. It's just 50 years old. It's just a little difficult. It's just a little difficult. There you can see the nomination being filed over it. You know, the process is taking place, uh, the papers were being checked and signed. Uh, the Prime Minister, uh, BJP President JP Nadda, Home Minister, Defence Minister, all waiting uh, very patiently. But as we said, this is a big show of support uh, for the uh, nomination of uh, Draupadi uh, Murmu. And uh, as we said, that her nomination by the BJP has been a very deaf political move. The messaging has been right on point. Uh, with her nomination, it will be very difficult to fight a campaign against her, even though uh, the opposition for the, uh, you know, put up a, the can their, their uh, joint uh, candidate as Yashwant Sinha. And so there you can see the Prime Minister, he's going, to, he is the first proposer for her nomination.